What's going on guys? It's your boy Zero Capital bringing you some Forza 3 gameplay and I don't usually play this game too often. I do play racing games every once in a while. Decided to pop in the disc and have a little go. And you see me driving the black on black RX-7, the FD model, no spoiler. Got the pop-up headlights. I love the pop-up headlights. But I really like the detail in this game and I kind of wanted to play this to see if I wanted to get Forza 4. And I kind of got interested in Forza 3 again. I put on the extra grip tires on this car right before this race. And mind you, I haven't played in months, so you're going to see me kind of mess up the first turn there. I drifted away from the line. And that's because I thought the tires would give me a lot more grip than they did. And this is a simulation racing game, so it's not arcadey or anything like that. So what you can do in real life, you pretty much can do in this game. And in real life, you can only turn as well as the grip on your tires. So, you know... Cars can only turn as well as the grip on the tires. That's general rule and that's how it is. And once the tires start heating up a little bit for me, I start hitting the line rather well. And the enemy, or I don't know why I call them enemies, too much first person shooters, but this CPU drivers that are behind me, they're just, once I hit the straight, I'm gone. Look at the acceleration of this thing, the twin turbo kicking in in fifth gear. I almost hit 160. Oh, I do hit 160 before I have to brake again. but. Yeah, I really love this game because it lets me drive or pretend to drive cars that most normal people can't drive. So I've never actually been in an RX-7 FD before. I've been in an FC, which is the older model, and the acceleration from second and third gear was pretty amazing. It pushed me right back in my seat, and I was like, holy shit, let's do that again. Like, that was my reaction, you know. And cars, man, I love cars. If I owned one of these cars, I would definitely wash it every day probably hug it every night before I went to sleep too and that sounds kind of weird but you know the relationship some people have with their cars uh, I definitely turtle wax the hell out of this thing but I don't know man uh, in today's economy having a car like this is probably not very practical because it only gets about 19 miles per gallon and gas is between three and four dollars a gallon and you think about it that way holy crap um, especially when you kick in the secondary turbo I think it kicks in, the first turbo kicks in around 2,000 to 3,000 RPM, maybe 4,000. And then the secondary turbo kicks in around 6 or 7,000 up to 9,000 RPM. And this type of car, especially a rotary, you have to drive it fast to keep the engine running smoothly because of the way it is. A rotary is basically a wedge that spins in a circle in the middle of the car. It doesn't have pistons like a normal car does uh, a non-rotary engine does so to get the car running smooth like to make it so it doesn't have deposits in the engine chambers you just have to rev it up to 9,000 rpm which means you have to drive it fast so that's pretty much not something you always can do especially on local roads so anyways this gameplay is coming to end i end up getting first place by a huge margin thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more peace